All right, welcome back. So we are continuing through all of our free response questions, um, going through 2013 this time. We're going to be looking at accumulation of rates of change again. So we'll be interpreting the meaning of derivatives and integrals, um, and then estimating the accumulation of a set time relative extrema and relative whether the amount is increasing or decreasing at a set time for a given rate. Okay, before I do that, I've got a handful of integrals I want you to help me solve. Uh, it's a little bit small. Can you see on the left? Okay, if I want to integrate this function on the left, what would I have to do? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Uh. So I think <coughs> can try uh, cosecant s u. Okay. Yeah. U is cosecant, cosecant of what? Minus x. Okay. Um, if that's true, then what is u prime and what is a? U prime is minus co no yeah plus cotangent because. Uh, if I derive cosecant, what do I, what do I get? Oh, cosecant and cotangent. Okay, so cosecant, cotangent of our angle. Um, positive, you're right, because um, we have that negative already from um, the inside part. So with chain rule, right. that negative will become positive. Uh, what is our A? A? Mm -hmm. A? Well, if I try a direct U substitution right now, you've got U prime over U root U squared minus 1. Oh, so A is 1. 1. And this will be A squared then. Okay, if I integrate this, what will happen? That's cosecant. Uh, close. Second? Yeah, second. Second, okay. Um, yeah. So when I integrate, this will be... Uh, U over A? Uh, usually this is 1 over a. 1 over a times... Yeah, 1 over a second. And in, inside this, u over a. Okay, times the arc secant. Yeah, arc secant. Of u over a. Plus c. Okay, so we're going to sub everything back in. Yeah. So, that's 1 over 1, and then arc secant... Uh, times no, and then inside is cosecant minus x over a. Yeah. Awesome. And because a is one, I'm not going to write the over one, but looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay. How about this one on the left or on the right? Three x is u. U is, say again? 3x. Um, if U is 3x, U prime is? 3. 3. 3 dx. Um, yeah. Okay, unfortunately that wouldn't help me solve, uh, that wouldn't help me substitute for the inside part. So I'm going to need a different uh, U. Mm. Is it UV? I uh, don't need integration by parts, no. Mm. X plus 1? X plus 1, U prime is dx, okay. 
And I don't have the right power for you, Prime. So what can I do? Hmm? Um, on the outside, I've got 3xdx, not just dx. So I've got the wrong power. Um, so I need to do one extra step. Hmm? What is x equal to? Oh, x equals u minus 1. Oh, okay, okay then that becomes integration times integration three times uh, u minus one u minus one u and negative fifth power and then we um, split it we distribute three times the integral of minus fifth power minus no minus four u minus four power minus u to the u fifth power yeah u minus to fifth power minus fifth power okay and that's um um things so minus one over three u to the minus third power three u to the negative three over negative three okay And plus three over four u to the minus four power. Yep. See yeah. Okay, then simplify and resub for you. Mm. Simplify. Mm -hmm. So three times x plus one. Minus oh minus one oh wait we just yeah minus x plus one my you uh minus third power uh, if I want to simplify that what will that become x plus one uh this is a negative power if I have a negative power what can I do to it minus x because three and three cancel out. The 3 and the 3 will cancel, but for oh, um, oh, oh, oh. u to the negative 3 power is the same thing as 1 over u to cubed. So you want positive power. Right. Oh, okay, x plus 1 cubed plus 3 over 4. Oh, no, I mean 3 over 4 times uh, x plus 4. No, x plus 1 to the 4th power. Okay, that's good. And mm. then, last one for today. Um, before we get to the FRQ. Um, I want to integrate this improper fraction. What would I have to do? So, I think we can simplify upper bound, no, uh, denominator. Okay, if we multiply the denominator out, what's going to happen? <clears throat> no, we can simplify in more later, isn't it? Uh, I don't understand what you mean, so walk me through it. Uh... Because, wait, uh, let me try. Because okay. if we, um, if we make a set x to the fourth power minus x squared, and no, wait. Uh, oh, never I think mind. you're trying to Don't. factor and cancel. Is that what you're doing? Yeah, factor and cancel, yeah. I don't think this will work directly. Oh. Um, however, we've got a larger power on top than we have on bottom. This is an improper fraction. So there is a way we can simplify, but to make it easier first, 
Um, I'm going to multiply the denominator out. So, what is our denominator? If we distribute yep. x cubed plus, no, minus x squared plus 1 plus. Okay, minus 3x squared plus. Plus x minus 3. Okay, um, and now I'm going to divide this out. Okay, um, how many times is x cubed going to x to the fourth power? One. So, no, I mean x. x. Okay, so when I multiply x times all of the denominator, what do I get? x cubed minus 3x squared plus x uh, I need to minus I need to multiply by the x. Though. Oh, x fourth power minus x cubed. Minus 3... Uh, x cubed. 3x cubed plus x squared minus 3x. Okay, and then I'm going to subtract that from what we had originally. So what will I be left with for the next step? Mm, x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 4. Okay, um, what could I multiply x cubed by to get x cubed? 1. Positive 1, okay. So um, I'll multiply 1 by everything we had on bottom. And subtract that from what we had originally. So what do I have left? Mm, x squared. Minus 2x plus 7. Okay, that's a lower power than what I had on bottom, so I am no longer an improper fraction if I leave it like this. Um, so for my remainder, I can write it in fraction form like this. x squared minus 2x plus 7 over my denominator. x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3. Okay, lots of pre-calculus we haven't seen in two years, but any questions on what we've done so far? No. Okay. Um, so if this formula is the same thing as this, then that means the integrals should also be the same. So this is the same thing as the integral of x plus 1 plus x squared minus 2x plus 7 over x cubed minus 3x squared plus x minus 3. And we can keep going. Okay, we're not an improper fraction anymore, so we should be able to solve. Um, I am going to rewrite my denominator again, I think, um, because if I try to do a u substitution, I'm not going to get exactly what I have on top. So I'm going to rewrite this in factored mm -hmm. form. x minus 3 and x squared plus 1. And that'll help us out with this uh, fraction on the right. Okay, so what happens when I integrate? 1 over x, no, 1 over 2x squared. Okay, x squared over 2. Plus 1 over 2x, x over 2. Uh, nope. No, with x, x, x. Just x. Okay, and then this one is a little bit trickier. Um, I've got a partial fraction, right? Mm -hmm. We'll need to get partial fractions. Um, so how can I get my partial fractions from this? Um. I mean, this is another line, I think. This will, we'll make this cleaner for later. Okay, so for partial fractions, 
it's uh, x minus 3 x square plus 1 a and b okay I would have a and b except this is not a linear fraction uh, because this is a lot of not a linear factor and um, I could have a constant in front of x and I could have a normal constant as long as we're not left with an um, improper fraction then it's possible to have those constants so I'll need one constant for every power less than what's on bottom okay and then if I cross multiply to get a common denominator that gives me a times x squared plus 1 plus bx plus c times x minus 3 must equal my numerator 1x squared minus 2x plus 7 okay and then you can plug in any numbers you want in order to solve for a or b or look at your coefficients of any power you want can plug in zero first. Uh, okay, if I plug in zero, that will let me solve for C. If I plug in zero, I'll get seven. Uh, actually, that doesn't let me solve for C, because I still have a constant for A. So plugging in for zero doesn't help me. Not yet, uh, anyway. Three? Okay, I would probably start with 3. So x is equal to 3. We'll cancel out both b and c. Okay, so that gives me at mm -hmm. x equals 3. Um, 9 minus 6 plus 7 is equal to 4a plus 0. Okay, so that's 10 equals 4a. You say 10a. Sorry, say again? You say 10a. Uh, oh, that's squared. You're right. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what is A? Mm, one. One. Okay, if A is one, okay, now I could go plug in x equals zero if you want. Um, since that will cancel out my B, and I'll be left with just an A and a C on this side. So we oh okay so um seven is equal to uh one plus uh one times a so that's a plus uh minus c uh close minus what times c three c three c okay and we know that a is one. Okay, so that's 6 equals minus 3c, therefore c is what? Minus 2. Okay, and then solve for b. Um, instead of plugging in a number to solve for b, I might look at my coefficients of x squared powers. since all of my like terms have to equal on both sides of the equation, right? So on the left side, I'll have 1x squared. On the right side, what would I have for my uh, coefficients of x squared after you multiply this out? x, 1x squared so equals, I'm only looking at my x squared terms so on the right side what, x squared x squared plus bc x squared uh, not bc x squared when I factor this, I'm going to distribute this out what's the only term that will have an x squared in it? oh it's bx squared 
bx squared. Therefore, 1 equals a plus b. Since my, um, I have to be able to combine these like terms, right? Mm -hmm. We know a is 1. Therefore, b is equal to what? Zero. Zero. Okay, that was a lot. Um, but what that lets us do is rewrite this function um, using a, b, and c into here. So I'm going to give us another slide really quick. Just so you've got more space to, some, to finish this. Okay, sorry about the wait. Then, for my last step, <coughs> we said this integral was equal to the integral of x plus 1 plus y. Mm, 1 over x minus 3 plus No, minus 2 over x squared over 1. x squared plus 1. Okay. So now we can integrate directly. Mm -hmm. So once again, if I integrate x plus 1, what do I get? No, x squared over 2 plus x ln plus ln x minus 3 minus 9. Uh, minus 2. Oh. That's ln. Uh, <clears throat> Not a natural log, actually, because you don't have the right power on the bottom. You cannot directly integrate it. Uh, we can, but it's not a natural log. Is it sine? Uh, nope. Arc sine? So this one's actually arc tangent. Oh. Um, really quickly, so if we integrate du over the square root, come on, <laughs> if we integrate du over the square root of a squared minus u squared, um, that would be my arc sine function. So I'll get the arc sine of u over a plus c. If I integrate du over u root u squared minus a squared, I would get 1 over a times arc secant of u over a plus c. And if I integrated du over u squared plus a squared, I would get 1 over a times the arc tangent of u over a plus c. 
I, don't, I haven't really had a chance to give you a formula quiz in a really long time, mostly because I don't feel like giving you a formula quiz online is worthwhile at all, since you've got the formulas with you. Mm -hmm. um, but I still need you to remember all the yeah, formulas. Yeah, I should just mail. <laughs> Um, if you know these three, you should know the other three, um, because arc cosine is the same thing just with a negative sign in front. Arc cosecant is the same thing with a negative sign in front, and arc cotangent is the same thing with a negative sign in front. So if I saw this, the integral of negative du over root a squared minus c squared, that would be arc cosine. We very rarely use arc cosine, arc cosecant, arc cotangent for integration because you can always just pull this negative out and solve it as an arc sine problem. But if you happen to be on a multiple choice section, which you won't be this year, um, then you could do that. Okay, I think I'm actually going to stop here because we're about... Um, we're about 15 minutes over, actually. Um, mm -hmm. So you're going to have um, a little bit of extra homework because we didn't quite get to the FRQ. Um, but I'll be looking for you to finish question one, two, and three um, for the free response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, any questions on anything we covered today? No. All right. Um, thank you very much, and I hope you have a good weekend. Bye-bye. Goodbye.